Did you know that learning to let go of other people's opinions can be one of the most freeing choices you'll ever make? We live in a world where social pressure, criticism and judgment seem to follow us everywhere, from the workplace to social media to even our closest relationships. But what if you could break free from that constant need for approval? What if you could find confidence, calm and control by shifting your focus inward where it truly counts? If you want to cultivate inner peace, build stronger relationships and become a truly grounded version of yourself, then this video is for you. Today, we're diving into practical steps to embrace self-assurance, emotional resilience, and a mindset that values what's really important. From letting go of other people's judgments to leading by example and practicing patience, each habit here will show you how to live in a way that's true to who you are, not who others expect you to be. Imagine waking up each day without the weight of others' opinions on your shoulders. Imagine the freedom, the calm, and the focus you'd feel if you knew how to ignore the noise and walk through life with unshakable confidence. Let's dive in and uncover the simple yet powerful habits that will empower you to live authentically and purposefully, all while feeling more connected to yourself and to others. Number one care less about people's opinions. Let's start with a simple question. How many times have you held back from doing something you wanted just because you were worried about what others might think? It's amazing how much of our lives can be ruled by the opinions of others. Maybe it's that outfit you wanted to wear, that bold career move you almost made, or the decision to speak your truth in a crowded room. Imagine for a moment what life would look like if you could shed that weight. If every decision you made was solely based on your values, your desires, your goals. At its core, caring less about other people's opinions doesn't mean ignoring valuable feedback or living in isolation from society's norms. Instead, it means freeing yourself from the shackles of judgment, releasing yourself from the limitations of others' expectations, you're giving yourself permission to exist and thrive, unfiltered and unapologetic. Now think back. Remember a time when you made a choice purely for yourself without letting anyone else's perspective sway you. Maybe it was small, like choosing to take a solo trip or embracing a unique style. Or perhaps it was something larger, ending a toxic relationship or pursuing a passion that everyone around you said was impractical. Those are the moments when you taste true freedom and the weight lifts, even if just for a moment. That's the kind of feeling that comes when you begin to let go of caring too much about what others think. What if, moving forward, you chose to make more of those decisions, little by little? Instead of wondering, what will they say? You start asking, what do I really want? Imagine the possibilities that open up when the only approval you're seeking is your own. Could it be that we're holding ourselves back from the lives we truly want, simply because we've been trained to value external validation over internal peace? Number two, be honest and true to yourself. Honesty is one of the most liberating yet challenging qualities we can adopt. But let's face it, being honest, truly honest with ourselves and with others isn't always easy. We live in a world that sometimes rewards appearances over authenticity, and it's tempting to bend ourselves to fit an ideal or hide parts of ourselves to avoid discomfort. When you're honest with yourself, you start to see the path you're meant to walk. This honesty might lead you down roads you never expected. Perhaps it's that longing for a different career, a different lifestyle, or a different type of relationship. It could mean facing hard truths about the way you spend your time or the people you surround yourself with. Self-honesty is the foundation of any life well lived, the compass that points toward what truly matters to you. Now think back to a time when you felt at odds with your own values, maybe in a job that didn't suit you, a friendship that felt draining, or a relationship that had lost its spark. 
You might have tried to convince yourself that everything was fine, that you were just being practical or reasonable. But deep down, the discomfort grew, didn't it? There's a certain inner peace that only comes when we're living in line with our true selves. Imagine a world where honesty was your guiding principle. What if every choice you made was rooted in that deep commitment to being true to yourself? It might be a bit uncomfortable at first. People might not always understand you, and some may even push back. But that's okay. Over time, honesty builds resilience, and being true to yourself will start to feel like the most natural thing in the world. Number 3. Don't take things personally. Isn't it funny how quickly we can take things to heart? A stray comment, a passing glance, or even someone's silence can sometimes feel like a direct hit to our self-worth. But here's the truth that can set us free. Most of what others say and do is a reflection of their own world, their own struggles, and their own views. Not everything is about us. Yet it's so easy to fall into the trap of taking things personally. Imagine walking into a room and overhearing someone say something dismissive or judgmental. In that moment, it's natural to assume they're talking about you, that somehow you're the target. But consider this, what if it has absolutely nothing to do with you? What if, instead, it's about their own insecurities, their own worries, or their own perspective? Not taking things personally is one of the most powerful shifts we can make in our lives. It removes us from a constant state of reaction and allows us to respond to life with peace and purpose. Think about those times in life when you did take things personally. Maybe it was a job rejection, a friend's offhand comment, or even just someone who didn't have time for you. How much energy did you spend replaying those moments analyzing every word and wondering what you did wrong. Now imagine if you could take all that energy back, if you could let go and realize that people's actions are often just a reflection of them and not an evaluation of you. Now, wouldn't it be freeing to walk through life with this new mindset? To not take every comment, every look, every action as a judgment of your worth. With each step, you'd find yourself lighter more focused on your own growth and joy instead of being bogged down by the perceptions and actions of others. It's a path that leads not only to peace, but to a deeper sense of inner strength. Number four, practice, patience. Imagine a life where you never feel rushed, where the pressure to keep up dissolves and every decision is taken calmly. Practicing patience isn't just about waiting, it's about embracing a way of life where calmness, purpose, and inner peace guide each moment. In a world that often demands immediate results, patience has become rare, yet it holds immense power to transform how we experience life. Patience is a skill that enhances our relationships, helps us avoid unnecessary stress, and even boosts our long-term success. Think of it this way when you're impatient, you react without thinking, driven by impulse. But when you practice patience, you allow yourself time to process, to let emotions settle, and to act with wisdom rather than haste. Imagine how many misunderstandings, regrets, and frustrations could be avoided if we just took a moment to pause and breathe before responding. Think back to a time when you felt impatient, a time when you were in a rush, perhaps waiting in line or frustrated with a loved one. You might have felt anxious, maybe even angry. Now consider how things might have unfolded differently if you'd given yourself that extra moment to collect your thoughts. In hindsight, it's often those moments of impatience that we wish we could redo. The beauty of patience lies in its ability to give us perspective, to slow down time so that we can fully appreciate the journey rather than just rushing to the destination. Imagine facing each day with that kind of grace, each interaction tinged with calmness and understanding. What would your world look like if patience was your constant companion? Number five, lead by example. Leadership isn't about telling others what to do, it's about showing them the way. 
When you lead by example, you embody the values, behaviors, and attitudes you hope to see in others. It's a subtle yet powerful way to influence people, not by force or persuasion, but by authenticity and consistency. Being the example you wish to set creates an impact far deeper than words alone can convey. Think of the people in your life who've influenced you most. Chances are they didn't preach or push you into following a particular path. Instead, they showed you the way through their actions by being living embodiments of the qualities they believed in. When you lead by example, you inspire trust, respect and admiration, and people are naturally drawn to follow. This type of leadership isn't bound to titles or roles anyone can lead by example, whether it's in a family, a friendship or a workplace. Reflect on a moment in your own life when someone set an example for you, perhaps a teacher who went the extra mile, a friend who remained calm in chaos, or a parent who showed resilience during tough times. Those memories often stick with us because they're rooted in genuine action. Now imagine if you could become that person for others, the one who brings calm, confidence or kindness to the table when others need it most. Leading by example requires courage, commitment and self-awareness. It's a journey of personal growth that not only benefits others, but also shapes you into the best version of yourself. What kind of example would you like to set for the world? Number six, ignore negative criticism. In a world where everyone seems to have an opinion, ignoring negative criticism can be a lifesaver for your self-esteem and peace of mind. Constructive feedback can be valuable, but often negative criticism serves only to hold us back, instill doubt and dampen our spirits. Learning to distinguish between feedback that builds and criticism that hinders is an invaluable skill that will help you focus on growth rather than on doubt. Consider this every successful person, every innovator, every individual who dared to be different has faced criticism. Whether it was criticism of their ideas, their appearance or their way of life, these people chose to ignore the noise and focus on their goals. This isn't about rejecting all outside input, but rather about filtering what's helpful and discarding what isn't. Imagine how liberating it would feel to pursue your dreams without worrying about the critics in the background. Think back to a time when someone's words or actions made you question yourself. Maybe you let those words sink in too deeply even doubting your abilities or your worth. Now imagine how much more empowered you would have felt if you could have shrugged off those comments, if you had the confidence to keep going regardless of others' opinions. Learning to ignore criticism allows you to remain true to yourself and your path, unaffected by the negativity around you. Imagine a future where the voices of doubt are mere whispers, where the opinions of others no longer hold you back. What kind of person could you become if you focused solely on your strengths, your values, and your dreams? Number seven, embrace a heart full of love. In a world that often seems filled with division, conflict, and hardship, choosing to embrace a heart full of love is one of the most powerful things you can do. Love isn't just a feeling, it's a state of being that reflects in how we treat others, how we view ourselves, and how we approach life's challenges. Love is what connects us, reminds us of our shared humanity, and encourages us to approach every situation with empathy and compassion. Imagine waking up each day with a heart open to others, a heart that seeks to understand rather than judge, to connect rather than divide. This doesn't mean you'll never experience anger or frustration, it means that love will be your foundation, your guiding principle, your strength. Love empowers you to forgive, to let go, and to see beyond the surface, looking at others with kindness rather than suspicion. Think back to a time when someone showed you pure, unconditional love. Maybe it was a family member, a close friend, 
or even a stranger who extended a small act of kindness. Those moments often leave a lasting impression because they remind us of the power and simplicity of love. Now, imagine being that source of love for others. What would change if every interaction was grounded in compassion and kindness? Imagine if love was the force guiding every decision, every conversation, and every thought. Number 8. Cultivate Inner Calm There's a special kind of power in remaining calm, especially in a world that often feels like it's moving at lightning speed. Cultivating inner calm is about finding that quiet place within yourself where you're grounded, at peace, and resilient against external chaos. This doesn't mean avoiding challenges or stressful situations, rather. It means carrying a sense of calmness through life, no matter what comes your way. When you have inner calm, you respond rather than react. You're not easily swayed by anger, frustration or stress and you become a source of stability for those around you. Imagine how transformative it would be if, no matter the situation, you could approach it with a calm mind, a steady heart, and a sense of perspective. That's the gift of inner calm, the ability to face life's storms without losing your center. Think back to a time when you felt calm amidst the chaos, maybe during a difficult conversation, a challenging project, or even an unexpected event. Those are the moments when inner calm shines through, showing us what's possible when we're grounded in peace. Now consider how much more fulfilling life would be if you could cultivate that feeling of calm every day, allowing it to shape your thoughts, actions and relationships. What would life look like if you carried this calm within you always? How would it change the way you approach your goals, your relationships, and your daily challenges? Number 9. Focus on what you can control. One of the most liberating realizations in life is understanding that there's only so much you can control. Trying to control everything leads to stress, disappointment, and burnout. While focusing on what's within your control allows you to live with clarity, purpose, and peace. When you concentrate on what you can control, your actions, your thoughts, your responses, you empower yourself to create meaningful change in your own life. Imagine letting go of the need to control things that are beyond your reach. This isn't about giving up. It's about channeling your energy where it can actually make a difference. Instead of worrying about how others might react or what tomorrow may bring, you focus on the choices you can make today. You're not wasting energy on the what-ifs, but instead investing in the present moment, in actions that align with your goals and values. Think back to times when you tried to control things outside of your reach. Maybe you worried about others' opinions, stressed over events you couldn't change, or tried to manage every detail of a plan that inevitably changed. Now imagine if, in those moments, you had chosen to let go and focus only on what was within your control. How much lighter, calmer, and more focused would you have felt? Imagine living each day with this mindset, where you're fully engaged with what you can control and at peace with what you can't. How much freedom, confidence, and clarity would that bring to your life? As you walk away from this video, Remember that the path to a more fulfilled and authentic life doesn't require perfection or constant approval from others. It just requires commitment to being true to yourself. Practicing patience, embracing inner calm, and focusing on what you can control are not just ideas, but powerful shifts that can transform how you experience each moment. By adopting these habits, you're setting yourself on a course to not only strengthen your resilience, but also to enjoy a life rooted in self-respect and genuine confidence. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're part of the rare few who stick to what they start and are serious about becoming their best selves. If you're ready to dive even deeper, make sure to join our journey by subscribing Let's keep building a community focused on real, lasting growth.